Good evening, and welcome to Senior Awards Night for the amazing class of 2020. My name is Matt Spencer. I have the distinct pleasure and honor of being the principal at Sparta High School. So welcome to our students, our staff, our community, our parents in celebrating uh, an outstanding class. Seniors, uh, at the beginning of this year in their first meeting together, I challenge you. I challenge you to lead. I challenge you to bring back school spirit in the form of the Blue Crew, to start performing at the levels that we've come to expect at Sparta High School, and you answer the bell. Awesome job. Uh, obviously, uh, in the era of COVID-19, it's much different this year, but hey, we're going to have a great celebration tonight in celebrating you, the class of 2020. Awesome work, and here we go. Seniors, great job this year on bringing in the money, okay? A lot of scholarship winners. Um, I'd like to go through the big hitters right now. So, without further ado, the SEF L. Edmund Erie Jr. MD and Athena S. Erie Scholarship to the Val Victorian for $2,000 goes to Madeline Rumsey. The SEF L. Edmund Erie Jr. MD and Athena S. Erie Scholarship for the Salutatorian for $1,000 goes to Kendall Page. The Lynn McFall Reed Shaner Memorial Fund Scholarship for $500 goes to Natalie Horrigan. The Sparta School Sports Boosters Award for $500 goes to Chase Wilson. The Sparta School Sports Boosters Award also for $500 goes to Olivia McKellar. The GRBS Perseverance Scholarship for $1,000 goes to Jenna Osech. The Sparta Rotary Scholarship, and there's two of them, okay, the first one, $500, goes to Ethan Zurich. The second Sparta Rotary Scholarship goes to Sydney Geisbeek. The Ruth Van Eck and Corky Kick Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 also goes to Jenna Osech. The Sparta Education Foundation Catherine Richmond Health Sciences Scholarship for $500 goes to Hannah Patterson. The Ethel Mary Ebers Scholarship for $3,000, yes, I said $3,000, goes to Lily Anderson. The Sparta Alumni Scholarship for $350 goes to Haley Clark. The Lions Club Scholarship, two of them again. Um, the first Lions Club Scholarship, uh, $500, goes to Ethan Zurich. The second Lions Club Scholarship goes to Lauren Gerke, also $500. The Sparta Girls Varsity Basketball Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 goes to Mia Vandenberg. The U.S. Marine Distinguished Athlete Award goes to Hayden DeGraff. Also there's a uh, female one, U.S. Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete Award for the female goes to Kendall Page. Uh, the U.S. Marine Corps Scholastic Excellence Award goes to Madeline Rumsey. And finally, the U.S. Marine Corps Scholastic Excellence Award goes to Ethan Zurich. So, congratulations to all those award winners. Um, way to bring in the money. Great job.
Good afternoon, Spartan Nation. I am Mr. Zurich, and it's my pleasure to introduce the 2020 Physical Education Student of the Year, Dante Jacobus Worcester. Dante, you're a fantastic young man to have in class. You've mastered the games of dodgeball, swarm ball, and continuous kickball. You put the heart rate monitor on and crushed the CrossFit sections. You've also been in the weight room crushing the bench press, the squat, the deadlift. Dante, you're an amazing young man and we are so happy to give you this award. Dante, it is tradition in the physical education department when you win the award, student of the year, that you drop down with the PE teacher and you get 20 push-ups in. So Dante, from home right now, get off the couch. Get your little brother Prince off the couch. Get your mom Amber off the couch. If grandma is there, get her off the couch, Dante. It's time to drop and give me 20. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Congratulations, Dante. The best is yet to come. Hey, everybody. Mr. Owens here. I have the privilege of announcing the winner of the Computer Award for 2020. Surprise! It's Evan Grass. In fact, Mr. DeForce and I thought that perhaps we should name the award after him. He has done so much for everyone in the school. Whether you know or not, Evan's efforts have saved us, the school, tens of thousands of dollars. It's unbelievable. From the screens in the hallway to being able to help us have a cool virtual set like this, the live streams, drone footage, the list goes on and on. And even what's more amazing, I've never seen him one time in four years make fun of somebody else because they didn't know as much as him. He's always treated everyone with extreme care and kindness and being very polite and very, very helpful. We are going to miss Evan Grass. Also a shout out to his friend, Colton Kilpatrick. The two of them have done a great job of elevating everyone's experience through technology. You guys are awesome. Congratulations, Evan Grass, 2020 Computer Award winner. I would like to present the 2019-2020 Art Department Award to Rebecca Rudy. Congratulations, Rebecca. Uh, you are a fantastic person and a fantastic artist. Uh, and even though Rebecca is so busy with her family and with school, her AP classes, um, sports, with church activities, um, with her work, uh, she's still never let that be an excuse that I can't do something and do it well. And that's what she did with her art projects. Whenever she started working on our project, it was always um, a big idea. She wasn't quite sure if she could do it or not. It wasn't something simple. And she would work at it and, and make beautiful art. And this is not easy to do because whenever you start an endeavor like an art project and you challenge yourself, you stretch yourself, there's always a really good chance you're gonna fail. And Rebecca did sometimes. But again, she didn't let that stop her. She didn't let that fact that, hey, I could fail. I could be wasting all my time. But I don't think she ever looked at it like that. It wasn't, I'm wasting my time, I'm growing. I'm growing as an artist and growing as a person. Um, and you can see from behind me uh, the growth of Rebecca and some of the pen and ink drawings that she did of animals. She decided um, to do a series of black and white pen and ink drawings of um, wildlife in curious poses, interesting poses from different angles um, that you wouldn't no normally see them at. And uh, fantastic. I remember looking at her first one that she did and it was like, wow, that's really good, Rebecca. But now when we look at her first one compared to the last one she did, there's such an improvement. And uh, it was because she was um, working really hard because that's how you improve. She wasn't afraid to fail and she wasn't afraid of construction, um, instructive or constructive criticism where I would come and say, hey, Becca, let's try this. And she would try it, sometimes with a grumpy look, but she would try it. Uh, another thing I'm so impressed with Rebecca about is her willingness to help the community. Um, we have an opportunity to design a sculpture for downtown Sparta for the, the new town square that's going in. It's going to be there 
for um, the foreseeable future. And Rebecca came up with some fantastic ideas for the sculpture that not only capture the essence of Sparta, how it is now, but also the history of Sparta and how they connect and why Sparta is such a great place to grow up. So um, thank you for that. Thank you for all the contributions to the art department, Rebecca, and uh, good luck. The 2020 Sparta High School Mathlete is an enthusiastic learner who loves the challenge and is driven to do her best. There are many math students whose strength is understanding math. What sets her apart from the rest is her ability and desire to help others want to learn and understand that math as well. She's not only hardworking, reliable, and organized. She's also honest, trustworthy, and compassionate. In the fall, she will be attending Indiana Tech University where she'll play volleyball and study accounting. The math department is proud to recognize our 2020 Mathlete of the Year, Andrea Shriver. Thank you, Andrea, for all of your hard work. The Social Studies Department would like to present Natalie Horgan with the Herodotus Award. Natalie is one of the most considerate students we've met. She is always engaged and asks great questions, which makes for a fantastic social studies learner. No matter what course she follows throughout her life, she will make us proud. She is a true thinker. Natalie understands her role as a global citizen and pursues her responsibilities with passion. The social studies department would like to thank Natalie for helping to lead us into a bright future. Congratulations. Hola. My name is Allie Campice and I am presenting the Senior Award for the World Language Department. It is our goal as a department to help students learn Spanish while understanding the cultural practices and worldviews of its speakers. To this end, we expect students in our program to understand and use Spanish while also demonstrating an awareness of the linguistic, ethnic, racial, religious, cultural, and social diversity of Spanish speakers throughout the world. Our department award is given to a senior who has successfully completed all Spanish courses while not only meeting the curricular expectations, but also exhibiting a true enthusiasm for the practices, products, and perspectives of the Spanish-speaking world. This year's award recipient is unique compared to the typical student in our Spanish program. This student tested out of Spanish 1 and 2 and chose to continue studying the language in Spanish 3 and 4, despite being a fluent speaker. While in Spanish 3, she was able to share many of her own experiences from Mexican culture to help bring the culture lessons to life for her peers. Not only this, but she appreciated learning about and understanding the linguistic and grammatical aspects of the language, and regularly commented on how fascinating it was to understand why the language worked the way it did. Even though she was a native speaker, she never made any of the other students feel inferior, and she always capitalized on opportunities to promote Spanish language communication with her peers at a level that they could reciprocate. After completing Spanish 4, she decided to come back to the Spanish classroom by becoming a cadet teacher. Her semester as a cadet teacher was cut short by the pandemic, but she still made an impact on her peers by bringing her personal experiences to the classroom. She is a true ambassador for promoting the connection that language learning provides. We are proud to present the World Language Award to Montserrat Gomez. Felicitaciones! Hi everyone, Mr. Shansky here for Yak Awards 2020. We have three young ladies to announce this year. Usually for this occasion we get dressed up, so I try to look a little nicer today, but my hair is totally out of control, so I had to go with a hat. First up is Elena Viznovsky. This was Elena's first year on Yak. She joined as a senior, and I have had a really good time getting to know her this year. One thing I'll always be able to credit Elena with is teaching me about the word yeet. Elena says Yeet works with everything, so the class of 2020 is the greatest class ever. Yeet. Next up are Jenna Osich and Mary Palethorpe. These two are very near and dear to my heart. They've been a part of Yak for four years, and when they first joined, they were quiet, polite girls, and now they're not afraid to voice their opinion, and they're even more polite now. And they provide great leadership for Yak as upperclassmen which I appreciate a lot. These three ladies have the qualities we're gonna need in our leaders of the future, especially in hard times like the one we're going through right now. I wanna say thank you for your service to Yak, and you will be missed a lot. 
You think I got that? I, yeah, I think it's good. All right, perfect. Guys, let's, gonna... let's let me think for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut. The winner of this year's Theater Department Award is Sydney Geisbeek. Um, even as a freshman, Sydney Geisbeek showed some of the most initiative I've ever seen of any student. Uh, she was an incredibly hard worker in world history and um, immediately joined the diversity club and demonstrated leadership and passion and compassion and empathy and tried to make the world a better place. Um, and that was just freshman year. And this was before I even knew about her uh, incredible love for theater. Uh, when she uh, elected to take drama, uh, I was blown away by her dedication her creativity, uh, her leadership um, on stage. And then also, and this is uh, this makes her a bit of a rare beast, uh, she was incredible on stage, but also had this incredible love for learning all of the tech that she could uh, learn about. And now she has this amazing passion and ability when it comes to uh, lights and sound and everything that goes uh, on behind the stage, uh, especially in the tech booth, um, which is difficult stuff to learn. Uh, so she's just this kind of amazing unicorn of a theater person and that she is capable on stage and makes shows happen beautifully because of what she does off stage. Um, she is truly an independent uh, learner, um, self-directed. I, I can trust her with anything uh, she um, works with thousands and thousands of dollars of equipment, and you know that all of it is going to be taken extremely uh, good care of. Um, her leadership, uh, she's figured out how to, to lead with kindness, even in difficult group situations. Um, she's able to direct uh, plays. Um, she truly is uh, the best of the best in all categories of theater. I have never had a student like her. Um, and she is going into a theater program, a prestigious uh, theater program next year, and she has earned all of it. Uh, so congratulations, Sydney Geisbeek. Uh, you will be greatly missed, uh, but I know that there are so many hundreds and hundreds of plays in the future that are gonna bear your mark uh, of excellence. So thank you so much for all you've brought to our theater department and to our school. You make the world a better place everywhere you go. And that is uh, truly a beautiful thing about you. Hello, good evening. Hope you're enjoying Senior Awards Night. I have a slew of awards to uh, pass out for Van. Um, first, I want to acknowledge our senior drum major, Skylar Boroff. Um, every year we give out a Senior Drum Major Award, and this year Skylar is our recipient. She has put up with me for three years as a drum major, and that deserves an award. Uh, next up, we have the Music Department Award. The Music Department Award uh, is given out by the Music Department, me, and it is for a student who is outstanding in their music classes. Um, this year, I had a student who was in wind ensemble, concert band, and choir. Uh, and so I'm choosing this year to acknowledge Gavin Goss as our Music Department Award recipient. Congratulations, Gavin. The next award is the Michigan School Band and Orchestra Association Scholar Instrumentalist Award. And this award is meant to recognize young musicians who achieve both academically and musically. And this year, the MSBA Scholar Instrumentalist Award goes to Marissa Barber. Congratulations, Marissa. Smarty pants. Our next award is the National School Choral Award, and this is given out to a student uh, in vocal music who is an exceptional student, exceptional singer. And this year's National School Choral Award for Sparta High School goes to Kaya Patterson. 
Congratulations, Kaya. The second to last award of the night for band is the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. Um, this is given out to an outstanding jazz musician who um, has shown leadership and exemplary music skills in jazz band. And this year, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is going to a fellow trumpet player of Louis Armstrong, Zoe Verdine. Congratulations, Zoe Verdine. Also, fun fact, Nick Offerman, uh, Ron Swanson on Parks and Recreation, is a former recipient of the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. And our final award of the night is the John Philip Sousa Award. The John Philip Sousa Band Award is given, it's probably the most prestigious band award given out nationally, and it is presented to someone who uh, is a great musician and a hard worker and a good leader within the band program. And this year, the award goes to our all-state percussionist, Marissa Barber. Congratulations, seniors uh, in band and just in the school in general. Thank you for a great time at Sparta. Loved having you in band. Many of you seniors who aren't in band anymore, I've had at some point or as a student. Loved having you. I wish you the best success in your future and have a great night. The science department decided to split our science award this year into two pieces, life science award and physical science award. I'm here to present the physical science piece of that. So in science, we gather new understandings by doing experiments and problems and things like that. And sometimes those events don't work out so well. Part of the process in science is having things not work as predicted, which leads us to the next logical step in what if, which leads to new insights and new discoveries. This year's recipient struggled with that very concept. This person did not like the fact that not getting the right answer on the first time every time because that's what they were used to and everything else. After they came to realize that the process of science is what if, which leads to new understanding, only then did she appreciate the science pieces itself. In her own words, being wrong is sometimes good. After she embraced that, she excelled at science and decided she actually liked it. When she first sat into my classroom, she didn't even like science at all. She didn't care for classes. She actually wanted to become a lawyer. So we appreciate the what if of the process and she's taking this newfound appreciation for physical sciences and she's going to school in the fall to become an engineer. This year's science award goes to Maddie Rumsey. Congratulations, Maddie. I'm a superintendent at Sparta Area Schools and I am honored this evening to be presenting the awards for the salutatorian and valedictorian of the class of 2020. Our salutatorian is graduating with a cumulative GPA of 4.33. She participated in several clubs such as the Futurist Club and the Diversity Club and was the executive secretary for the Student Council as well as a member of the National Honor Society. She participated in both track and cross country and was a team captain for both teams. In addition, she had roles in a total of nine theatrical productions during her high school career. Her current plans are to study research in the pharmaceutical field at Fair State University in the fall. The Sparta High School class of 2020 salutatorian and the daughter of Jamie and Sandra Page is Kendall Page. Congratulations, Kendall. 
Our valedictorian is graduating with a cumulative GPA of 4.37. During high school, she was a part of the equestrian team for four years, including advancing to regionals twice and the state finals in her senior year. She also shows horses as a club sport. She played tennis her junior year and was planning to play this year as well, prior to COVID-19 canceling the season. She was in student council all four years, including vice president her junior year and president during her senior year. She was on the blood drive committee for the National Honor Society and was a representative for the OK Blue Leadership Conference. She also found time to work three jobs as a gymnastics coach at Rising Stars, a dance teacher at the Academy of Dance Arts, and as a horse trainer for Bodsford's Performance Horses. She will be attending Saginaw Valley State University in the fall to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering with a minor in alternative energy. The Sparta High School Class of 2020 valedictorian and the daughter of Todd and Stacy Rumsey is Madeline Rumsey. Congratulations, Maddie. It is my honor to present the Athletic Department Awards. First up, the U.S. Marine Corps Student Athlete Awards awarded to a male and a female. Uh, these award winners play multiple sports. They are leaders on and off the court and they exemplify Spartan pride. The female 2020 winner for the U.S. Marine Corps Student Athlete Award is Kendall Page and the male is Hayden DeGraff. Well done. Next up, the OK Blue Male and Female Athletes of the Year. This award um, expects that people uh, win the award have earned all district, all region, and all state recognition and are recognized leaders within the OK Conference and the OK Blue Division as outstanding athletes and as leaders. The males for this year, um, there's two winners. One, Jaquel Davis, and two, Chase Wilson. And for the female OK Blue Athlete of the Year for the class of 2020, Mia Vandenberg. Well done. Last but not least, the Male and Female Athletes of the Year for Sparta High School's Class of 2020. First up, James Warren Male Athlete of the Year Award. This is established in 1960. This year's winner played three sports, earned 11 varsity letters, four all-conference recognitions, was an academic all-state numerous times, and received honorable mention all-state recognition this year in basketball. He maintained a 4.3 GPA. Chase Wilson is our James Warren Male Athlete of the Year. Good job, Chase. For the Female Athlete of the Year, the Karen Finkenbeiner Award, which was established in 1976. This year's winner is a three-sport athlete, uh, a leader on and off the field of competition, has earned 11 varsity letters and all-conference um, recognition numerous times, all while maintaining a 4.13 GPA. This year's Karen Feichenbeiner Female Athlete of the Year, Grace Zurich. Way to go. Good job to all our coaches and athletes. Thank you.
week, two weeks, done, then we take a break, a break, a break on Sunday, then we do it all again, cause we're proud to be from God.